हरिम स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर प्लेइंग विद नंबर्स नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज सम ज्योमेट्रिकल आइडियाज एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द चैप्टर विच हैज लॉट्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इन एवरी डे लाइफ ओके सो लेट्स सी एंड अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड विद दिस चैप्टर एंड देन यू सी what things can be done with the help of all the concepts we are going to learn in this particular chapter so let's start the class now and uh, very first before we start the the concepts and the terms related with this chapter at least we should know the brief meaning of this geometrical and this has come from the word geometry and this has basically come from the greek word called geometron and uh, if you concentrate on this particular word it has two different words now one is called geo and other is called metron so briefly you should know the meaning of geo is nothing but earth and uh, metron basically means measurement so we can say overall this chapter is going to help us in the field of measurement that is if we have to measure something we need some help we need some tools mathematical tools we need and that is what we are going to learn in this particular chapter so you must find out the history of this geometry that is how this word came and uh, all the things related to this particular word so you must go through the history as well and uh, i am going to start with the very first topic of this chapter so we'll understand some terms related to geometry so so different terms we have means different concepts we should know and uh, that is going to help us in this particular chapter and the very first term is called point okay so point or points so how to understand this if i just put a dot mark here if i put a dot mark here if i put a dot mark here you can see three different dot uh, put on this board white board now if i talk about this particular point this particular point is giving us the location of this particular place so if you talk about this point here which is marked here this is showing you a particular location on this board okay if i talk about this particular point this point is showing you a particular location on this board so this location and this location are not same so these two points are basically showing you two different location on the same board white board if i see third point here the three or the third dot this dot is basically showing you another location so this way we can have infinite number of dots on this board and each dot will give you a particular location a particular a uh, place we can say on this particular board so overall this is how we have to define the point that is point is nothing but uh, a dot which basically shows the location on a given space so briefly you can write down that is it determines the location so overall for the location we need to have a point or we can say the point basically helps to locate okay now next thing is i have marked one point here one point here one point here and this way we i can mark infinite number of points on this board but i know this point and this point they are not same because these two points are basically showing you two different location this third point is showing you third location so every point on this board is unique i am showing you unique location so overall all the points must be differentiated from each other means i should be able to differentiate between the points which are on a space so that's why any point that we have must be given a unique name so that we can differentiate the location as well so for this i can give any name to this point let this point is given a name called a 
let this point is given the name called B. Let's this this is given the name C. Now, if anyone is asking where is the location of point B, you can easily find out. Okay, where is the location of point C? You can easily find out. Where is the location of point A? Easily find out. Now, A, B, and C are three different points, and now you are able to locate three different points with the help of name also. So every point must be given a name and that name can be anything. It can be ABC, it, it can be XYZ, whatever you can give the name. So that is one thing you should know. Point determines the location. So every point is showing you a particular location in a given space. And each point must be given a particular name so that different location and different points can be differentiated from each other. Simple. So I hope you understood the meaning of point. Okay. Next thing that we have is line segment. Okay. So that is the next term we have. We are just learning the different terms because that is all going to help us in this chapter throughout. Okay. So now let me mark two different points now. So again, since we have marked the point, we must give the name to each point. This point and this point is, they are not same because they are at different place. So they must be given different name also. So if I give the name A here and A here, it is not making any sense. So two different points at different location must be given different name also. Okay, now, once we connect these two points together, so with help of the scale, now I connect these two points. So this is your point A and this is your point B and these two points are connected together and once we connect with a straight line, okay, so whatever you are getting is nothing but called a line segment means two different points are connected together such that A and B are the end points now. So here we can say AB is a line segment okay where your A and B are the end points. So these two points become the end points once they are connected and once they are connected they basically form the line segment so any two points can be connected together to form a line segment and this is how we show the line segment with two different dots showing the end points that is after a there is nothing and beyond b also there is nothing so overall a and b are the extreme points of this line segment so we can say this has a fixed uh, point at the ends and one more thing is if I have to show the line segment AB how to show we can just write down AB with a line segment symbol so the way I have written here AB I am talking about this and once I put this line over it it simply says that AB is nothing but a line segment so this is how we represent the line segment you must remember so if I take any two different points now and again I connect, I can give another name x and y. So again we can say here we have x and y are the end points of this line segment x, y. And how to show, how to write down x, y with a line over it. So it simply means I am talking about x, y which is a line segment. So I hope you understood the meaning of line segment. And uh, on one line segment we can have infinite number of points also that is also possible so overall we need at least two points which are to be connected together to form a line segment and uh, over this line segment AB we can think of many infinite points as well so that is also to be understood over a line segment we can have infinite number of points between the end points ok third point we have that is line only so previous one was line segment and now it is line only so again we understand with the help of very simple thing 
that is make the dots two different dots connect it together okay let me connect first so just take an example this is my ab which is nothing but the line segment okay where a and b are the end points okay now overall what is to be done if i extend the line segment b this side and extend the line segment ab again this side so let's concentrate on it so ab is nothing but a line segment because a and b are the fixed point or the end points but if i extend the line segment one side and the other side also such that now this side this line will go or this line segment will go endless distance means now we don't know if it is going to terminate means it will not end anywhere same thing with the a also if this side the line will not end the line segment will not anywhere so overall if we extend the line segment both the side such that or both the direction such that now we don't have any end points so this side we don't have any other end points we don't have end points here also so line is nothing but a uh, lines a part of the line segment we can say which is having no end points so we can simply write down this way that is line a portion of line a portion of line segment or better let me define a different way because it will confuse you okay we can write down if uh, line segment is extended both sides or direction which is endless then it forms a line so simply we can say a line has no end points line segment has the end points so line segment is basically a part of line so line has no limit line segment has a limit limit because it has it has got the end points so we can say line has no end points so till infinite distance it will go on okay this is one thing we should know next thing is how to represent it so if i have to write down line ab so how to show we write down ab and now over this we we'll show the arrow mark also so when i show the arrow mark both the side ever ab it simply means i'm talking about ab which is a line it's not a line segment now so we understood in the previous topic ab with just mark it is showing you line segment if i show the arrow mark both the side it becomes a line i hope you understood okay so line you also understood now no fixed points or no end points we have number 4 let's talk about intersecting lines okay so for this again take the help of two different lines now okay so i have shown you one line let it be given name ab okay and this is another line unless the name of this line is xy okay now what you see here these two lines ab and xy they are basically having one common point also so let this name be o so what we see this point o is a part of line ab also because this point is lying on this line uh, ab and this o point is also lying on the line xy so we can say this point o is common 
for both the lines a b and x y so if two or more number of lines will have a common point then we can say these lines are basically intersecting so we can say here x y that is line and a b a line have a common point that is nothing but o okay so we can say x y and a b intersect at point o so that is the meaning we have so if two or more number of lines will pass through the same point we can say then we can say these lines are intersecting lines okay so i have shown you two lines only i can show you so you many lines so just example take example here this is one line this is another line this is third line and fourth line such that all are passing through the same point o oh. so we can say all these lines are intersecting lines because all of the lines passing through a single point o so that is one thing you have to understand here the meaning of intersecting lines okay one more thing i need to discuss here is if i have the line ab so one thing we know how to write down the name of the line this is how we are writing but other than this another method we have we can also write down like uh, for a particular line we can just give one name so we can say line l so a uh, one letter name can also be given to a particular line so for example i am writing another line i am drawing another line let it be xy but i can give this name m only so we can say l m are the different lines so either you write down ab is a line xy is a line or i can say l m are two different lines so these two ways are are uh, can be followed to represent different lines so just remember so if i say here we have line l line m and they are intersecting at o so we can say l and m intersect at o so here l and m are two different lines also this is another way of writing lines or giving the name to the line so how have you understood this much okay now uh, another term we have i think number 5 number 5 i think so this one is next one we have is called ray okay so just take the example of a line segment very first so we'll understand the meaning of ray so very first this is your a line segment with end points a and b now i extend it one side only now i extend it one side only that is now ab is a line segment but since b is extended one side now we can say this side we don't have any end point this side we have the end point so now what i am showing to you is nothing but a ray which has one end point but other side other direction has no end point and this one side end point is nothing but starting point okay and this will go endless so if you modify the line segment this way it becomes a ray such so that one point will be a starting point and other side will be having no end simple so starting point is nothing but from where it originates from where it comes okay just take an example if you take the example of the torch only so you know when you switch on the torch different rays of light we can consider so when we are switching on the torch it will produce the light so overall 
the light will move in this particular direction but from where they are coming they are basically coming from the torch so we can say these are different rays of light of which the fixed point are there at the torch and the or we can say the starting point is nothing but the torch and other side there is no end for this particular line or the ray so i hope you understood so overall a uh, ray is a part of the line only such that it will have one fixed point one side another side it will have no fixed point okay so non terminating one side and how to write down the ray so for example i have to show this ray ab so how will i write ab with a arrow mark so if i do something like this if i write something this way that is ab with a arrow mark above it it simply says that ab is a is a ray with the very first letter as a starting point so we cannot write down this as ba if i write ba it means that b is the fixed point or the starting point which is not the case here so this is the correct way of writing the ray for this particular example and this is the wrong way so here whenever we show the uh ray the very first letter basically shows you the starting point that you have to take care so i hope you understood when you write the ray the very first letter is for the starting point the second letter is for the other end that is uh, not having the fixed point so if i write line uh, sorry ray xy what is mean the fixed point is nothing but x that is the starting point should be x y should lie anywhere on this line and this side it should not end anywhere so this is how we can show the arrow x y if i write down p q what does it mean this should start from p this side non terminating and it should be q so always remember the first letter is nothing but the fixed point or the starting point so be careful how to write the ray so i hope you understood the ray also that is one side it has end point other side it has no end point that basically says the concept of ray number 6 we are going for that is for parallel lines so next next topic we have parallel lines so very first let me draw these two different lines so i am showing you two different lines now let it be a b okay And let it be x y so if we have two or more number of lines such that these two or more lines can never intersect now what do you see the way i have drawn these two lines you can see these two lines are moving together such that between the two lines all the time the distance is almost same so between the two lines the distance is same everywhere so if between two lines if the distance will remain same throughout then such lines are basically called parallel lines this is one way we can define second way we can say that if the distance will remain same you know it will go together but no where they can meet no no where they can intersect because for intersecting they must come towards each other otherwise it's not possible so we know lines can intersect only if they are coming towards each other so now we have the chance that these two lines can meet together and they will finally intersect if i draw this straight line so for intersecting this is a condition the lines must be coming towards each other but here this is not possible since every time the distance between the two lines will remain same these two lines can never intersect anywhere or we can say the distance between the two lines will remain same all the time and such lines are basically called parallel lines so simply we can say the lines which can never intersect that is they cannot 
मीट और इंटरसेक्ट ओके दिस इज वन वे वी कैन से और वी कैन से डिस्टेंस बिटवीन देम इज फिक्स्ड ऑलवेज so the distance is fixed no change in the distance between the two or we can say they cannot intersect they cannot meet such lines are called parallel lines so in this story if you even if you see the scale so we can see one line we have at the top one line we have at the bottom and you know between the two the distance is same throughout so we can say it is also made up of two different parallel lines or line segment so the lines can be parallel line segment can be parallel that is also possible so we can have xy we can have pq so even these two line segments are parallel to each other because between the two the distance is same and they cannot intersect so i hope you understood this also the meaning of parallel lines so overall uh, they are the main terms we have that is we understood the meaning of points line line segment intersecting line parallel lines and uh, the ray also so If you have understood this much, certain things we should remember in notes also in points. Very first is if we talk about a particular point, so through a particular point, how many lines can pass? So you know one line can pass from here. Okay, can we have more number of lines? Yes, it is possible. Can we have more? Yeah. So through a particular point. How many lines can pass? That is countless. So if we have a single point, through a single point, infinite number of lines can pass. That is one thing you should remember. That is countless lines can pass through a point. That is through a given point, one point. Okay, but If I give you two different points, then how many lines will pass through these two points? Means the line should pass in a way such that it should pass through both the points always. So you know, one line can pass this way, but can we have more than this? No. We can have infinite number of points passing through point A. We can have infinite number of points for pa uh, lines passing through point B. But if I give the condition that the line must pass through A and B, both the points, then we know more than one line, so we cannot think. So overall, through one point, infinite number of lines can pass. But when two points are given to you and the condition is the line should pass through both the points, then only one line is possible. And we can say in general, two points are sufficient, more than enough to show the line. So uh if you join any two points that is more than enough to show a particular line so the next point can be written here through two points only one line can pass so to be clear we can understand here if i just give you a point so there is no limitation or bondition of the direction so line can move in any direction so one point has no fixed direction but i if i give you two different points now the direction has been fixed that is you have to move from this to this direction only so in a particular direction through two points only one line can pass so that is all that is to remember and now if you have understood this much let's take one or two questions from uh, the very first exercise we have that is exercise 4.1 and uh, i'll do just few questions rest you must try yourself okay so i'm doing the question number 1 very first so in question number 1 very first a diagram is given to you so let me draw the diagram in a proper way so a diagram is given to you based on the diagram the questions are given so we have one line this way 
and there are points D E O B so different points are there D E O B so this is your point D this is point your E this is point your O this is point your B so four points you can see on this line and now it is also extended this side through the same point and uh, this is given a name F and uh, another one is C here ok so this is your point C so this is all diagram is given to you very first and based on this you have to answer some question that is very first we have to find 5 points so based on this diagram we have to find, no, find 5 points so we can find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so 6 points you can already see T, D, E, O, B, C, F so we can see 5 points we have are your D, E, O, B and any one C so how we can look it ok the B part says that find a line a line so how many lines you can see we can talk about line db or bd that is one line ok so that is only one line we have other than this uh, rest two that you see is not a line you know so a line we have is your db and you know how to show so a line is db c part says that you have to name four rays ok so in first you have to find the points you have to write find the line and now you have to find different rays so rays you know one end should be fixed and that will be the starting point other should be endless so if I see this point particular O so you know one OC we can see this side so O is the starting point here so O to C this, C, this side is endless so we can say the very first ray we see is OC we got first now from O we can move this side also O to B is another ray because again O is the starting point B side there is no end so another ray we got OB we can come this side also O to D another one and always remember we have to start from the starting point O so everywhere O is coming first and one more we can see other side also O to F so overall these are the different rays we can see I hope you understood this also ok now uh, the last thing says that number D so number D is asking us to find 5 line segments so the line segments we know that will have two different end points so very first we can see E D E and D is one line segment because E and D are the end points for this particular line segment so E D is the very first line segment we see again remember how to write down E to O again we see another line segment because E and O are the end point O to B is another one then you can move in this direction O to C also O to C is another line segment and O to F so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so I hope you understood how to write also so the way we are writing line segment the way we are writing line the way we are writing a ray that is different that is the question first done so I hope you understood how to find out the line, line segments, ray, points and all I will do one more question and then uh, raise you try yourself that is question number 5 it says that draw a rough figure and label suitable in each of the following case so we have to draw and label the name also so we have to draw 
and label also. So it says the point P lies on AB. So this we have to show with the help of diagram. Okay. So in the previous case, diagram was given and we were marking or giving the name. And now this time the names are given, we have to show it. So the very first, it says point P lies on AB. Now with the symbol we understood this is talking about a line segment. So very first we must draw the line segment. That is it should have the fixed point and dot should be visible also AB and the P lies on it. So P should be on this line segment. It can be anywhere between the two. So I can draw point P anywhere. But it should be within A and B on the same line segment. Because line segment has fixed ends, so we cannot go this side, we cannot go this side, we cannot go up, we cannot go down. So P points can be anywhere between A and B. Okay, so how we understood? B says that XY and PQ intersect. So here it is given XY with these two arrow mark and PQ again with two arrow mark and it is written intersect at M. So this we have to show with the help of diagram. Okay. So don't be confused with the previous question. So previous we understood now. So very far it is understood with the help of the symbol. The X, Y and P, Q are the lines. So very first we can draw the lines and it is saying that they are intersecting at M. So we can draw any two lines with arrows both the side and this line is given the name PQ. This line can be given the name XY. And it is saying that it is intersecting at M. So I hope it is understood. PQ is one line, XY is another line, and they are meeting at M. So M is the common point that is intersecting at M. Okay, so number C says that line L contains E and F so I'm writing the statement line E sorry L and E is fine L and E contains sorry I'm really sorry line L contains E and F but not D. So this is the new statement given to you. So it is written that line L contains E and F. Contains means E and F different points are on the line L but D is a point which is not on the line L. So how to do it? So we can draw the line anywhere. Okay. So this line is L. So give the name L. Now E and F are there. So E and F can be anywhere on this line. So E and F are two points. But D is not on this line. But D is there. So we can D, draw D anywhere. I can D. I can mark D here. I can mark D here, here, anywhere. So D should be a point other than uh, the points lying on the line. So I hope you understood. D you can mark anywhere. And this point is not on the line. And the last one says that OP and OQ meet at O. So this is same. OP and OQ meet at O. So very first with the symbol I will both the side be understood OP and OQ must be line. Okay, but what we see, both are having a common point also. So, and that common point is O. So, what is to be done? Very first, draw the two lines. Okay, and uh, this is nothing but O. Okay, now I can mark the arrow here, I can mark the arrow here. And this can be given the name P and this can be given the name Q. So I hope you understood. These two are nothing but lines only. 
okay so one is line op one is line oq because overall the lines are uh, non terminating both the side we know so that is already done and see they are intersecting also so we got the common point also so i hope you understood this much and uh, rest the questions which are not done by me you must try yourself as the homework so the homework that is given to you are question number question number 2 question number 3 4 question 3 question 4 5 i have done and question 6 so these questions you have to try yourself so i hope you understood the concepts related with the very first part of this chapter that is the meaning of different terms and uh, questions we have done from the exercise just to make you understand the the concepts only and now once you do the questions which are given as a homework you have a better understanding i hope so for today's done done just take care be at home thank you and are you